do-it-yourself power for astrophotography. Hi everyone, it's Chris at saltwaterwitch.com, and in this video I want to look at a recent power upgrade I've made. The problem I want to solve is supplying 12 volt DC power to my astro setups, any number of them, I have a couple variations. I want to provide power away from the mains or grid power, for example, a 110 volt AC line running from the house, which is what I've been doing almost exclusively. I also want enough storage to last a full night with everything, even the big power drains like thermoelectric cooling and dew control covered by the system. Of course, there are off the shelf solutions for this, but I wanted a little more versatility, a system that I can upgrade let's say add more batteries if needed. And what I've managed to put together is much cheaper than the portable power options out there. It's also specific to my needs, a handful of 12 volt DC devices with varying current requirements. I don't need a built-in flashlight or an inverter to power AC devices, things that plug into a wall socket. Here's what I've put together and successfully tested so far. I bought a small deep cycle 35 amp hour lead acid battery, an AGM type battery, which will get me completely through a night of astro imaging, through evening setup, an entire night's imaging run with a cooled camera, and my tech is set at negative 20 Celsius, dew control running the whole time. In my first tests, I discovered I would not go any smaller than the 35 amp hour 12 volt DC battery, because I ended the night with it pretty close to completely discharged. Keep in mind, the charging cycle with AGMs is a gradual process that uses lower power. Absorbent glass mat, AGM, batteries are safer to use but require a slower, steadier charging cycle. Everything I purchased for my power box was perfect, except I went underpowered on the charger. The NOCO chargers are awesome. See the link below for the NOCO website. I bought the NOCO Genius G11, which is at 1.1 amps, and I should have gone with the G3500, the 3.5 the amp version, for $20 more. The G1100 will charge my NPP NP1235AH AGM battery from dead to full in 18 hours. Yeah, see the problem? That's not going to work with more than one clear night in a row. The G3500 will charge the battery, the same battery, in less than six hours. I have everything housed in an old milk crate, an original from the early 80s, but you can buy similar containers today at Amazon, the container store, and elsewhere. I attached two pieces of scrap acrylic to two sides. I have my fanless Windows 10 box secured to one side, and I drilled out the other side for my battery power cutout switch. I added this so there was no draw on the battery, even minimal. The three switches on the rocker panel are lit when they have power, even when they're off. They have a small LED bar that shows that the switches are functioning and a brighter LED when they're powered on. The cutout also allows me to completely separate the lines running to my gear from the NOCO charging line if I want to. And that's one of the reasons I went with NOCO is they provide all these accessories. Actually, some of this stuff came with the charger itself. They, you know, they have quick disconnects with little, um, uh, seal, uh, little, little caps that seal. It's, it's, it's just really high quality stuff. Uh, the tools I used are, in general, you know, it's tools that most people have. Wire cutters, wire, a wire stripper, soldering iron and solder. Uh, but I also use a crimping tool for the connectors, uh, which you'll see in the picture. Um, and then all the links to all of the hardware that I purchased for my system are, are below. And uh, check it out. And here's my Astro setup. This is the one I used to test uh, the power out so far. And uh, that's a iOptron CEM25P mount, uh, ZWO 1600mm Pro camera with a filter wheel, uh, another uh, ZWO, the uh, 120 mono mini for my guide camera, moonlight focuser, motor uh, with the stepper motor. Uh, I've got a Pegasus Astro uh, power and uh, dew control. That's, I think that's the whole setup. So this ran the entire night without a problem with this, with this battery. So, uh, well actually most of the, like the late afternoon, all the way through the night and into the early morning, uh, say seven, eight AM. That's when I actually went out to tear stuff down. Uh, let me know if you have, uh, any ideas or questions or, or similar uh, experiences with, uh, 
you know, do-it-yourself power. Uh, till next time, this is Chris, saltwaterwitch.com. I hope you enjoyed. Clear skies, everyone.